grade 5, welcome back to our science class. We are still on our quarter 3, week 3 with our learner's pocket. How light interacts with different materials. This is Mom Chris, your teacher in Science 5. Our most essential learning competencies relate the ability of the materials to block, absorb, or transmit light to its use. Our core content, the effects of heat and electricity, light and sound on people and objects. Reference, Science Beyond Borders 5 textbooks, page, uh, pages 119 to 121 and LRM. LRMDS.deped.gov.ph In the previous lesson, you have learned that conductors are materials that allow heat and electricity to pass through easily, while insulators are materials that do not allow heat and electricity to pass through them. This time, you will learn how light interacts with different materials. Okay, class, have you seen an artwork on a stained glass? Stained glass are seen in churches, art museums, and even in some houses. The design on stained glasses are achieved through the use of glasses with various colors and hues, making them a sight to behold. The light that is visible to the human eye is called the visible light. It is a small part of the electromagnetic spectrum which affects our vision. Light is propagated in space as electromagnetic waves. This is known as electromagnetic wave theory of light. The primary source of visible light is the sun. The visible light allows us to see the color that is not absorbed by the objects. For example, you see most plants as green because the leaves absorb all colors of the visible light except for green. So always remember that the light that is visible to the human eye is called visible light. And the primary source of our visible light is the sun. Okay? To understand light further, you have to learn how it interacts with different objects. This branch of science is called optics. Optics is the study of refraction, reflection, absorption, and transmission of light. So remember, what is optics? It is the study of refraction, reflection, absorption, and transmission of light. Okay, what is refraction? It refers to the bending of light as it passes through different materials. For example, the pencil in the glass of water appears bent because of the different parts of the materials that interact with light. Just look at the picture. How do you see the pencil here? Okay, the pencil in the glass of water appears bent, isn't it? Because of the different parts of the materials that interact with the light. The part of the pencil that is not deep in water interacts with the water. So the part of the pencil here that is not deep in water interacts with the water. This one, this part is not deep in water. Light moves faster in air than in water. When light travels, from air to water, it is, its speed decreases. A medium is optically dense if it slows down the speed of light. This is why the pencil looks bent. Okay, look at this part. It looks like bent. Next is reflection. What is reflection? It refers to the bouncing back of light when it hits an object. This one. 
the flashlight hits the glass and it bounces. So it is a reflection. It is a bouncing back of light when it hits an object. This is the object, the mirror. Some objects with flat surface, like mirrors, reflect light in a straight, predictable way. Some objects with uneven surfaces, like rocks, reflect light in a scattered way. So try to put a light with your mirror and observe if it's bouncing back the light or not. Okay? Try to experiment it on your own. So this process is called reflection. Next is absorption. Absorption is it refers to the materials taking in light but not reflecting it back. For example, when light strikes a black surface, it is absorbed by the surface and nothing is reflected. This one, the black shirt absorbs the light and white shirt reflects the heat. Okay? If you are wearing black shirt in a sunny day, do you feel heat? Do you feel the heat of the sun? Yes or no? Observe it when you are wearing a black shirt under the sun. Okay? Next is transmission. It refers to the passing of light through some materials. For example, when light passes through a glass window, it is transmitted to the other side, allowing the light to pass through the window. Look at this example. The sunlight is passing through the window. So the glass is the material. It passes the light passes through the glass window and it's it transmitted to the other side here it allows the light to pass through the glass okay so window without window film it means it is not colored it is a clear window clear glass window okay a different materials have different ways of transmitting light okay for example this one the window is transparent okay transparent materials allow all lights to pass through them like this one the window if the sun shines here the light will pass through the window and it allows the light to come inside it is a clear a clear plastic and glass windows are examples of transparent objects. Okay, this one. Transparent. Next one is translucent. Translucent materials allow some lights to pass through them. Stained glasses and frosted windows are examples of translucent objects. Look. Look at the difference between transparent and translucent. Which is clearer, the transparent or the translucent? It says here, stained glasses and frosted windows are translucent. So, the, transpa the transparent window is clearer than the translucent window. Okay? Next material is the opaque. Opaque materials do not allow light to pass through them. For example, of the opaque materials are concrete walls, wooden doors, and mirrors are examples of opaque objects. This one, look at this. This is the transparent window, this is the opaque window, and this is the translucent window. Okay? See the differences? So remember that concrete walls, wooden doors, wooden materials, and mirrors are example of opaque objects. Okay, the activity that you are going to perform will clearly describe the light interact with the different materials. 
Learning task number one, you prepare the materials listed below. If not available, you may use your materials at home to perform the activity. You may ask the help of your parents, guardians, or any adult member of the family if needed. The title of the activity is Refraction of Light. These are the materials, uh, very easy materials. You can have this at home. You can see this on, in your kitchen, a glass of water, three-fourth full, white bond paper. Of course, you have it. Sunlight. Okay, of course, we have that. Crayons. Meron kayo niyan. Pencil. Of course, we have that. Okay, these are the procedures. Bring the glass of water and paper to a part of the room with enough sunlight. Near a window is good. Hold the glass of water above the paper and watch the sunlight passes through it. Refracts or bends and forms a rainbow of colors on your sheet of paper. Try holding the glass of water at different heights and angles to see if it has a different effect. Number four, draw and color your observations. Okay? So, here are the questions that you're going to answer after your activity. So, you must do it so that you know what to write here in, the, in your answers. So, number one question, what do you see on the paper when the glass of water has exposed to sunlight? Number two, what do you think caused the sunlight to refract or bend? Bend. Number three, what was the effect when the glass was held at different heights and angles? What does this show? Number four, what may happen when light passes through a glass of water? So you must observe very carefully your activity so that you can write your own answers here, okay? We have learning task number two. Put a check, a check mark on the column that describes whether the material can transmit absorb or block light okay these are the materials and glasses cellophane rubber tire black shirt woods vase dark cartolina red shirt plastic cup mirror so check the uh, check check if it's check the column if it's transmit light absorb light or block the light okay it's very easy i know you can do it And for the engagement part, learning task number three, use the Venn diagram to compare and contrast the following reflection and refraction. So write the comparison between reflection and refraction here. And what is, uh, here in the center, you write what is the similarities between them. Okay. Next one is another Venn diagram and you are going to compare and contrast the following absorption and transmission. You write what are the differences of absorption. Here is the absorption and transmission here and at the center write the similarities of absorption and transmission. Okay? That is the use that is how to use the Venn diagram. In the center that is the similarities outside this center is the differences this one you write absorption and here is the transmission and in the center there are similarities okay i hope you get it and for the learning task number five matching type what the match the definition in column a with the concept in column b Write the letter of your answer on the space provided with before each number. Okay. You can do it. If you had listened with me a while ago, you can answer it right. Okay. And the assimilation part. So everybody just read it. Optics is the study of refraction, reflection, absorption, and transmission of light. Refraction refers to the bending of light. 
Reflection refers to the bouncing back of light. And absorption refers to a material taking in of light. And transmission refers to the passing of light. So always remember refraction, bending, reflection, bouncing back, absorption, taking in of light, transmission, passing of light. Okay? You must remember it. For learning task number 6, read each item carefully. Choose the letter of the correct answer. So, it's easy peasy if you have if you listened to me a while ago. Okay? I know you did great. Congratulations, grade 5. You are now ready with the next module. Okay, this is my surprise. I hope you watch the video until this end because I will give you some sample answers, okay? Here they are. Okay, this is learning task number two, sample answers. If we have any correction, just comment down below. And this is learning task number three. Just post the video so that you can copy it. Learning task number three, letter B. And learning task number five. And learning task number six. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget also to click the bell so that you are being notified with my new videos. Thank you.